Hiya, welcome back to Wallflowers. So as you would have seen in yesterday's video that Mary Ann made when she made the pan of scouse, we all had three big bowls full and now we've got the leftovers so we're going to make a leftover pie out of what's left. Now I'm not content with eating all my meat out of it, Oscar's been back and took the meat out of it so there's no meat in it. So we're just going to do a blind scouse. Explain what a blind 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 scouse, scouse is. is just the same scouse, same recipe, but with no meat in it. So we found the masher. So I'm going to mash that up. I'm going to make some pastry. I've cooked some cabbage that Mary got from the initiative on Friday, the spring greens, and we're going to use some instant mash as well, just a little bit, just to pad it out a bit. Nice cheap, quick meal. So I'll start just by mashing that up a little bit. We put the leftovers of the sprouts that I had in here as well. Just mashing it up just makes it go a little bit better as well. Scouse was lovely. Everybody enjoyed it. It was, it was delicious, wasn't it? You were eating yours watching the football, weren't you? Yeah. So who was it? England versus Slovakia. And they won in the end, didn't they? In the end. They weren't very good. They didn't deserve to win. <laughs> the through to the next round, so that's next Saturday now. We'll be watching that just before the live stream next Saturday. So what I'm going to do is plain flour, all purpose. I'm going to do 350 grams of plain flour. some butter out the freezer that we'd made a while ago so there's about 200 grams just under 200 grams of butter I'll have that to melt because it's come out the freezer so we've got flour in there I'm going to put some mixed herbs in in with the pastry Sometimes we'll put some cheese in as well, just to make it a cheesy pastry, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> Conserving the cheese, aren't we? Yeah. The herbs in there. A bit of salt and pepper. It's just a sure crust pastry, nice and quick and easy. We've got our pastry mat on the, on the surface. It's good to be able to use it, isn't it? Yeah. You haven't actually used the measurements on it or anything like that, yeah. But it's, it's just French. Yeah, it's just nice <laughs> to have the surface as well. Poor Garda, Le Christie Lant. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Google translates for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you're in the middle of the recipe, so. I'll just add a little bit of water to that. 
I'm just going to mop up that little bit of butter spinach. Don't know if it's showing up on the camera. So your pastry doesn't stick to it. We all like Dad's pastry. It's <laughs> lovely. We've got pastry hands, we say, don't we? Mm. <laughs> Amazing, if you want. Normally you're supposed to leave it in the fridge for 20 minutes, half an hour, but I'm hungry, so we won't be doing that. <laughs> today. Yeah. Are you using your new pastry knife? Um, to cut it in <laughs> half. Treat it yourself. Yeah. I think it's still in the pocket, isn't it? Get a knife out to free it from the packaging. <laughs> I could just use the knife to cut it. I know, but <laughs> why did you buy it then yeah. in that case? So show it first in the packaging. So it's a pastry, a dough cutter. Two pounds. Let, let me just get a closer. It literally only cost two pounds. <laughs> bowls here that we're going to put the pastry in and make the shit in. We're only doing pastry on top though, aren't we? Do you want pastry on top? Are you putting pastry on the bottom as well? It's up to you, mm -hmm. I don't mind either way. Mm -hmm. Put a thick crust on the top. And yeah. Don't too much pastry. <laughs> Just grab that wet bit. Um, on your mouth. Okay, that's fine. Just do a nice thick top on it. Don't need to roll out any further. Just trim it once. That's fine. Just leave it like that. You have to put your filling in. No, because that'll fit in. Okay. Now that's going on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the drawer. I'm just gonna put a bit of the cabbage in. Instant mash, a bit of hot water. It's a good quality instant mash, this isn't it? We yeah, bought it in nice. a bulk buy, didn't we? Yeah. Um, a catering package and one. It's, it's a good instant mash. You can it's get good. cheap, nasty ones, can't you? Yeah, it's good just for a quick meal as well. Mm -hmm.
Well, we got a great big sack of it for about three pounds. Yeah. We? Let's throw that in there with that. or anything like that or a top one you can't tell the difference Because <laughs> there's no meat in it, you probably end up having chicken or something. It's done three meals yesterday, two big meals today. We'll probably have one each, won't we? Yeah. With the pie. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. No, probably in it. Definitely. <laughs> Looks a bit sloppy, but it is um, scouts. Mm. Um, when you get the scouse pies, that's what it's like, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's just like a hot pot pie. Mm -hmm. No waste. And there you have it, two full bowls. And a nice pastry top. Put it down on the top. Pinch it in. Be delicious. <coughs> One more top to go on top. You have to actually cut through with their air holes. One done. What is this you're making? Blind scouse pies. Sounds nice. So, like a vegetable hot pot. But it's got cabbage in. There was some meat left over in there yesterday. Was there? Yeah. And today it's suddenly gone. <laughs> I wonder what happened to me. I don't know. Things just disappeared in this house. Yeah. You never used to. Did you have it? You don't eat meat. I know. I couldn't imagine mum having it. You don't like that, cousin? Yeah. Worth the two pound investment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Want that knife back? I've got one here. Okay. You have to actually pierce the pastry. Yeah, that's 
So they'll go in the oven now for about 30 minutes. Join us in a bit and we'll have a taste test and see what they come out like. Lovely. <laughs> Work out what we're going to make with that leftover pastry. Yeah. Nice one. So we've had them in the oven now for 35 minutes. The leftover... Uh, Scouse? No, the leftover pastry. pastry that we had, that was left over. I decided to do some more instant mash in the bowl, put that in the the pastry, grate some cheese over it, fold it all up and that's Oscar's tea so he's got a cheese pasty, cheese and potato pasty. So halfway through I just brushed it with some milk just to make it a little bit brown. So open the oven, turn it off. Oscar's pasty. Looks nice and big, doesn't it? Mm. That's just instant mash and grated cheese. Very nice, you'll enjoy that. He wouldn't have wanted onion or anything in it anyway, mm. would he? Very nice. And all the pies. Probably just keep them in that bowl, put them on the plate. Sorry, say that again. You'll probably keep them in the bowl, put the bowl on the plate and eat it out the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> like they do in restaurants. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a bit too hot to try. <laughs> <laughs> mm. When you taste it, be too hot for me. You've got a mouth like asbestos mouth. You'd <laughs> <laughs> be too hot. Thank you, though. Mm. Hot. <laughs> hot. Camera right in your mm. face while you're eating, sorry. <laughs> Pastry's lovely. Buttery. Nice soft and buttery. So there you have it. Leftover pies. <clears throat> and we got three out of that. Well, two out of the, the leftover scouse. And a pasty out of the leftover pastry. pastry. With instant mash. Cheap meal. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. And remember, you're loved. See you later. Bye. Bye.